Switzerland is not just about chocolates and cheese. This country has a lot to offer. Today we're going to explore the Swiss capital, a city with great antiquity and full of history, old buildings, and the magical town rivers. Come and join me as we're going to explore the amazing city of Bern. This is Algen Travels and welcome to Bern, Switzerland. In this video, I'm going to show you my top 10 things to do and see in the Swiss capital. From its historical sites and untouched buildings, down to its amazing town river. Now let's begin with the city's largest reformed cathedral, the Bern Münster, or in German, Bern Münster, which means the big church. This huge building was constructed in 1421 in an amazing Gothic style. Let me take you to the east side of the building where you can both relax, play with your kids, and take some selfie with the view of the Kirk and Bridge. Number 9. One of the best ways to see the entire city is to visit the cathedral's tower. It takes up to 344 steps. It may sound a little bit tiring, but it's all worth it. The view is just absolutely breathtaking. The vantage point of the tower allows you to enjoy the amazing panorama of the Bernese landscapes. Don't forget to visit the bell chamber where you can see four of the seven bells of the cathedral. Did you know that Albert Einstein rented this place for two productive years? Oh yes, from 1903 to 1905 in the street of Framgasse 49, Einstein and his wife Naliva have lived here together with their son Hans Albert. You get to see the living space of the family, the old furniture, pictures hanging on the wall, and even their son's old cradle. You might be surprised, but Bern has over 100 fountains and 11 of which are still active. The fountains that has been part of Bern's water supply used to be a meeting places where people gossiped, washed their clothes, and fetched clean drinking water. That makes me wonder what the talk of the town was about. And one of the many beautiful fountains in the city is the Fountain of Justice, the Bear Statue Fountain, as well as the Child Eater or the Ogre Fountain. Now let's escape the hustle and bustle of the city and let's take a walk towards the town riverside. The long stretch path of Schwill and Matley is a perfect place for joggers, walk with your dogs and your families, and might as well picnic. Thank you. 
A visit to the bear park would be a great experience for the entire family. This place has a great significance in the city. Families and friends can both enjoy the view of the river as well as the bears playing around and taking their daily bath. Another way to relax is to visit Burns Rose Garden. This is a perfect place for the entire family. The view of the entire city is purely spectacular. There are playgrounds, restaurants, and even mini library. The clock tower, or better known as Zeitglockturm, is one of Bern's most remarkable sites. Back in the 13th century, this tower served as a guard tower and prison. This major tourist attraction is now one of UNESCO World Cultural Heritage Site. Let's visit the House of Parliament or the Wunders House in German which is the seat of the Swiss government or the Federal Council and the National Council and Council of States. It was completely constructed in 1902, which consists of Central Parliament Building and two wings of Housing Government Department and a library. And finally, the city of Bern itself as part of UNESCO World of Heritage Sites. The Swiss capital has so many alluring characteristics. Its history and antiquity that captivates millions of tourists across the globe and its beautiful and amazing atmosphere that keeps me coming back. There you have it, those are my top 10 things to do and see in the Swiss capital. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up, share it to your friends, and don't forget to subscribe for more travel tips and travel videos. Thank you very much for watching, until next time, tschüss!